Bum, ba, 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 ba. It's cooking with Courtney. Courtney. Hey guys, welcome back to Vegan Cooking with Courtney. And today we are going to make an apple crisp. I am so excited because I normally don't bake. So we are going to turn on our pan and we are going to make one of the most delicious apple crisps. Oh, I'm so stoked. <laughs> so we are going to set our pan to 370. We probably are going to turn it down to 280, um, but we are gonna just kind of let it heat up. And this one, you kind of do have to measure just so you can get everything right. Um, so you're going to use two tablespoons of coconut oil. We are also going to add a cup and a half <laughs> of cane sugar. Now I'm using cane sugar because I really, really love it. We're gonna add half a cup of our coconut cream. Not coconut milk, get cream. You're gonna add some cinnamon, a teaspoon of salt, which I'm just gonna eyeball. It's salt. like. And now we are gonna mix these bad boys up. It smells so good. I mean, you could just eat this. Oh my God. And I am also going to add walnuts. I'm gonna add walnuts not only to my um, mix, but I'm also going to add it to the top of the um, apple crisp. And I mean, honestly, just add how much you want. Like, why not? <laughs> We're gonna stir this up. It's on 370 and I'm gonna turn it down to probably like 200. I'm just gonna do it now. I don't want these to burn. You don't want it to get um, too brown. I mean, it's gonna be brown because of the cinnamon, but you don't want it to get like dark because we're gonna also cook it in the oven and you wanna make sure that this has like still like a very creamy look and just like glazed over. So you don't want it to look too crazy. I'm gonna half cover it and then I'm gonna start working on, oh, it smells so good. I normally don't make desserts guys, so this is gonna be so nice. Um, we're gonna work on our apples. So we are going to peel green apples, super easy. All you're gonna use is this guy. I'm just gonna peel them. Now, I don't want you to use a knife because I want you to keep as much of the um, flesh of the apple, the meat of the apple, I guess. Um, I want you to keep as much as you can and get rid of the peel. And now, after you finish peeling these, let's do this, you want to make sure that you cut them into like, some into chunks, which I'm gonna do, and then you're gonna cut some into circles. So you're just gonna go down the middle, and then you can remove this if you would like. You're just gonna do a little triangle cut, and it cuts right off and then you're gonna just chop these guys up. Now I want them a little thicker <laughs> because I want that like good glazed apple. I wanna feel the crunch of it and like that soft um, texture that it will have and it will have like a nice um, crisp because it's gonna go into the oven. So I'm really, really excited about that. And you saw how I cut everything up, guys. It's like very simple, really easy. You don't really have to do too much. I need a bowl. I got it. Okay. So we're going to place these guys in a bowl. These you don't even have to cook. They're just going to go straight into the oven with your mix. So we're going to cut these apples down. Make sure Make sure you watch this. I actually turned it down to 190 Fahrenheit. I turned it up so I can like let this pot heat up really quickly. And then I turned it down to 280 so it can just kind of like simmer up. And now it's at 190 Fahrenheit. So it will, um, it will cook, but not too fast while I get everything else prepared. 
Okay, so our apples are cut up and I left one. We've used five apples and I've left the fifth one because I'm gonna cut it into circles and then I'm gonna place it on top of our um, apple crisp. So I'm super excited about the way it's gonna look. You're just gonna cut straight down into it and so you get like these little discs. Looks good. And just remember, be careful because the apples are slippery, so you don't want to like cut or hurt yourself. And I feel like I can keep everything. Like, I don't even have to cut holes in them. Everything is like good. I'm gonna pop out these seeds though, this one right here. Oh my gosh, the design on it is gonna look so good. <laughs> it's gonna be stars and circles. This is beautiful. We have our, um, the bottom with our walnuts all done. This is just gonna sit in here. And while we work on our third step, this is gonna be our topping. You guys are gonna love this. We are going to work on our topping. And so we're gonna need a cup of flour. This in here. You're gonna need a little bit of brown sugar. Let's see. That's wet. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> so we're just gonna add brown sugar. Guys, I'm just gonna add as much as like, I don't know, I want, you know? <laughs> we're gonna add some oatmeal this is gonna be so delicious and we have vegan ice cream vanilla oh my god I don't know if I'm ready cinnamon a little bit of salt we're also gonna add um, half a cup of coconut oil. <sighs> and, let's see. Oh, I did it. Okay, good. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Half a cup of coconut oil. Nutmeg. Oh, I'm just gonna open this from here. And we are gonna mix this up. Just mix it really well. Let it all blend up together. Because you're gonna throw this on top of all of your apples. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm gonna put a little more oatmeal. This one I can do an eyeball. <laughs> and so can you. <laughs> We're gonna add a little more coconut oil. This is one tablespoon, two, three, four. I like the way this looks, it's so good. Look at that, oh. And that's gonna bake up, what? So excited. We're gonna add some walnuts. This has been on for probably like I don't know, not long. 15 minutes, guys? I'm gonna turn this off. Wow, this is such a good brown. And this is done. And now, the skillet. <laughs> so, you are going to place your mix that you just did and cooked up on the bottom. My oven! I'm gonna set my oven! Oh no! I'm back. <laughs> Apples. Let's put these guys in here. Now we are gonna get a little messy. And we're gonna put this all over our apples. Wow, this feels so good. Oh, it's gonna look so amazing. This is gonna look really good, guys. You're gonna love this. And honestly, I think you can use more apples than I did. I only used five. I'm one person. I'm eating it almost by myself. <laughs> so you just need to spread this on. Let's do this. Now, we are gonna do our apples. So we are gonna place these guys 
just around it. You're gonna see the patterns and the circles and all that stuff, so I'm really excited about that. I'm not gonna show you, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, because there's ice cream that goes on this. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm gonna put a little bit of sh um, cinnamon on top of our apples. And that's it. We are done. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this guy. <laughs> so as soon as our oven preheats, guys, I'm gonna see you in 45 to 60 minutes, probably closer to 60. I set my oven to 400 degrees and we gonna cook this up. So let's go. <laughs> Wow, guys, we did it. <laughs> this looks so good. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dive on it. <laughs> now, you know we added some ice cream. How can you make a crisp, an apple crisp without ice cream? Am I right? Mm. Wow. Oh my. Okay, let's just get a few more bites before I describe how delicious this is. <laughs> Guys, this is so good. Oh my God. And the vanilla ice cream, it's dairy free. It is vegan, obviously. And it is so good, it's so rich. The apples, Oh my gosh, they're so warm and soft. And I have never made, by the way, an apple crisp with oatmeal, so that was such a surprise how good this is with that. Oh man, this is incredible. It's not too sweet and come through. Guys, oh my gosh, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy, watch another video, subscribe. Oh man. I'm gonna enjoy it, so I really hope you do. <laughs>